First, let's head over to a 400 acre ranch located just below Lookout Mountain in the great Flintstone, Georgia. You're going to meet a husband and wife team who not only raise buffaloes, but they're helping disabled kids in a very special way through equestrian therapy. The place is called Eagles Rest Ranch. You're going to love this facility. Here's Casey Orr with the story. When you think of a buffalo, you imagine them grazing the vast plains and valleys of Northern America and Canada. It's hard to believe that there once was a time when these great creatures roamed the Appalachian Mountains, and scholars believe they had become completely extinct by the start of the Civil War. Chattanooga local Burton Brown has been fascinated with American bisons for many years and learned that the extinct Appalachian bison were a subspecies of the plain buffalo and devised a plan to see if he could recreate them and bring them back where they belong. He started up Eagle's Rest Ranch and did most of the work by hand to preserve this local history. Well, I've had it about 20 years and there's only trees here when I got it. I've cut a lot of the trees and built the roads and I had a little sawmill, a little wood miser, and I used that to cut up the lumber and uh, I had a planer and a shaper. So I, I built the buildings out of lumber off the place. I found out about the Canadian woods bison and a lot of people seem to think they were similar to the Appalachian bison. And uh, when I found that out, I couldn't get them out of Canada because they're endangered and the uh, Canadian government won't let you export them. But you could get half Canadian uh, woods bison and half uh, uh, plains bison and uh, you could get those out of Canada. So. That's what I did, and I did that about well, maybe 15 years ago, I'm not sure. I, I can think that these are similar to what was native here, and it's, 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 been, it's been a lot of fun and rewarding. Burton processes his meat locally at the U.S. Department of Agriculture in South Pittsburgh. You'd be surprised how many local restaurants keep Burton's bison on their menu on a regular basis. The Chattanooga, Norchat Cat, and 212 all carry the local bison meat. People describe the bison to taste a lot like beef, but healthier. Well, it's uh, a lot of people love it. It's the lowest in cholesterol of any red meat you can you can eat. Uh, there's been a lot of tests done on that, and uh, uh, these animals have never had any growth hormones. They've never had antibiotics. They're they're a natural food source, and there's very little fat. It tastes good, there's no greasy aftertaste. We've even played around with the bison sausage, and it tastes just as good as pork sausage, but it doesn't have the greasy aftertaste. Uh, the chili is especially good, and the roast in a crock pot, they're wonderful. Uh, the meatballs, and the, the hamburgers, and all the steak stuff are good. Eagle's Rest Ranch is not only home to bison and other animals, but the Browns use the ranch for many events. Burton's wife, Ginger, has become an advocate for people with special needs and has hosted the Equestrian Special Olympics on several occasions. Back about, I guess, eight years ago, the Lord planted this seed in my heart. I was teaching kids horseback riding lessons and doing camps, and a mother brought an autistic son to me, and she didn't tell me before the lesson he was autistic. And, of course, that was life-changing for me. Uh, he spoke his first w word here, several lessons in. And at that point, we didn't really offer it. I didn't know how to go about it. I never dreamed of it. So last year, we were approached to host the Special Olympics. We have a beautiful facility, at least I think so. And in the past, we've trained cutting horses and had dressage and eventing and hunter jumpers. And I just wanted a really meaningful uh, I guess a purpose for our for our ranch. The ranch has been offering therapeutic riding instruction for the past few years. Several of the instructors made the journey to Dallas, Texas to become certified in therapeutic riding through Spirit Horse International. We have one teenager from Lafayette. She said the first time, first of all, she'd been turned down for several years. No one would take her as a horseback riding student. They felt like she was a liability. And so we took her. Her dad, it's a very moving situation. Her dad walks on one side, one of us walk on the other. And the first time she rode, she said, I feel like I can fly. This is a child who has cerebral palsy and scoliosis. We, the first time she rode, her little legs were drawn up about even with the skirting of the saddle. They call it the fenders. 
and through the process of we give her exercises to do, she works on her own, she has physical therapy in school, her legs through relaxation and exercise have lengthened, her feet fit into the stirrups, and now she is actually riding, not independently, we still have to provide the, uh, the security on either side, but she's riding not only at a walk, but at a trot. There are countless inspirational stories that have occurred at Eagles Rest Ranch, but Ginger will tell you one of the most important aspects of the ranch's success has been its many volunteers. The people here are very special. Uh, they have a lot of love, a lot of passion for what they're doing, and, and they're all volunteers. Um, for every rider, we have to have a horse leader until that at some point the rider can ride independently. You have to have start out with two sidewalkers and then an instructor. So you start out with four people, volunteers per rider. And then as they, they grow in their riding and able to ride independently, you can narrow that down to two. You know, there's hope. That's why our motto is first words, first steps. Haven't had the first steps yet, but we're looking forward to that. <laughs> Just the first words. What a great story and what an inspirational one at that. The relationship between a horse and kids with disabilities. So many success stories. Hey, for more information, why don't you contact Ginger at ginger at eaglesrestranch.com or just call 423-421-3205.